how do you even start a video about 3D printed camera accessories when the only camera you have is filming right there? I guess I will figure it out. At least I hope. Anyways, in this video I want to show you 10 3D printed camera accessories I found online, created myself or some mix in between. Maybe you have thought about printing your own lens cap already. Maybe you lost it. That's probably the only reason why you would reprint a lens cap. But today I will give you a second reason. I found this lens cover online with the Sony logo already and I thought, yeah, it's a really nice lens cover, but it's nothing special. But I thought, what if we could make an AirTag inside? That would be special. So I took this already existing model from Maker World and created a lens cap, which discreetly holds an AirTag without looking obvious. But when opening it up, you will find the AirTag. To get the AirTag out, you don't need to use a drill like I did with my version 1. It looks like someone in this room didn't use his brain, but there's just one person in the room. For version 3, I created a little cutout over here. You just go underneath with something and you can spoon the AirTag out, change the battery or whatever. Otherwise, you just press it back in place, take this wonderful designed lens cap, slap it on, align the rings over here, put it on your lens and you're good to go. And it fits actually really well. I'm quite surprised to be honest. You are not convinced by that because you live at a place on planet Earth where things don't get stolen? Well, that's good for you, but what do you do when you take off your lens cap from your camera? Do you put it in your front pocket, your back pocket, in your hoodie, or do you just place it somewhere and forget about it? I found this lens cap holder online, which I modified to fit 40 millimeter straps, and the thing works and just snaps. Just imagine I would be outside. It's super cold, it's dark, so I'm staying inside. But if I would be outside, I would probably have my camera in one hand, the lens cap in the other hand, just a one-handed operation. Take the lens cap, snap it on, and it's fixed. That makes it always have this one spot, especially if you are like me and you always end up checking all five, six, seven pockets to find the lens cap. Oh, by the way, I printed this with PETG because I wanted it to be a little bit more flexible compared to PLA. However, I broke it anyways, so you should probably just use TPU. I don't know if you guys have a small rig for your camera, but I do have one for my Sony ZV-E10 and I really like it. But, but there are a lot of buts. The first but is my DJI Mic2 receiver, which kind of does a lot, but it definitely doesn't stay on here because it's like super loose and I don't know why it's not the same size. However, that's why I printed this small adapter, super simple, super easy. You just press it in. I'm amazed. It's like perfect. I even created a little screw hole. It's super secure and it definitely gets the job done. If you have a small rig at home and you want to make some accessories for it, definitely get this super noisy and loud screw box from small rig. It includes all kinds of screws and it will make your life a lot easier or fun because I'm having a lot of fun with these accessories. Talking about attachments, small rigs, 3D prints, that just sounds like our next accessory which I'm super hyped to show you because I think this thing, this thing is cool. But before we get there, just a quick shout out to today's sponsor, PCBWay. In one of my latest videos, quite a lot of people were debating in the comments whether they should get a 3D printer or not. A 3D printer takes up space, you end up with a bunch of filament and this is not even all, and sometimes it even needs maintenance. Maybe you wanna just print one small piece, maybe you need a material your printer can't handle, like flexible resin, industrial grade nylon or even metal or your print bed is just way too small for what you want to make. That's where PCBWay has you covered. They have all kinds of services, from 3D printing and sheet metal fabrication to injection molding and CNC machining. I actually plan to use their CNC service myself soon, cause I don't have a stainless steel milling CNC at home. If you have a project in mind, but you don't have all the tools, PCBWay makes it super easy. There are experts which check every file before production, so you don't end up like me. You get an instant price, there are no hidden fees. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the prints and I'm super excited to show you. 
If you are like me and you don't want to buy a gimbal which is not just expensive but also big and bulky or you are just like yourself but you still don't want to buy a heavy ass gimbal, I thought it would be nice to have an extension or an arm for the camera for more stable footage. <laughs> That's why I came up with this small rig top handle which is supposed to stabilize your shaky hands while filming. I also made this time lapse while printing but things went sideways just like my printer. But I wouldn't be me if I if I weren't me. Does that make sense? Whatever. This handle has multiple features otherwise it would just be a boring handle. However, I should probably mention it won't be as stable as a gimbal, but I guess that's obvious. The first feature is that it is a handle, like obviously. But now things are getting more interesting because the second feature is this little slider over here. Just to be transparent with you guys, this is everything I printed before until I came up with this thing. So just imagine there would be a camera in my small rig, but you will probably see B-roll anyways. You just slide it on the small rig and now you need to screw it on, right? That's where this wonderful slider comes in because over here you will find the screw. If you don't need the screw, you just put it back, use the slider and your screw is with you wherever you need it. Putting the screw in small rig always comes with this little tool over here in the bottom and you can just use it to open and close the screw, which I think is super awesome. And now things are getting interesting because where do you put your DJI Mac 2 receiver when you use this handle and it's really close to the receiver mount if it's called a receiver mount? And Pete, why did you put two magnets over here? Glad you are asking. The third feature you will find on this this handle is this little attachment with embedded magnets which just snap on there and will hold my receiver in place. Damn, that was pretty smart. Absolutely love that feature. Future Pete here, the reason why I didn't integrate this little mount into this handle is because of the material. This is basic PLA, this is PETG. You preferably want these little mounts to be a little bit more flexible. PLA would just be too hard. If you are wondering why that's the case, it's because of the lower durometer rating from PETG compared to PLA. The lower the rating, the more flexible the material. And I also want to explain why this handle is just one piece and this handle are actually two pieces. I printed this handle upside down, meaning I started at the bottom and went up to the top. I used up quite some support and how you can see these layer lines, it's just it's just not pretty. You have a lot of lines over here and comparing it to this handle, it has a very nice finish on both sides. I just used support for these three tiny holes and I thought gluing it together would be super easy. But I completely messed up the gluing process, how you can see over here and over here. I don't know what to say, it's far from perfect. I also messed up this dowel over there. I just set the dowel too far at the edge in the software. Mistakes have been made. But overall, I'm confident I will be able to shoot a little smoother B-roll with this attachment on my small rig. But Pete, I prefer handles on the side. Don't worry, I got you covered. I found handles like these online and thought they could be nice. But after seeing there was literally no hole to go in, I mean for the screws, I just created my own handles again. This is what I came up with. Just imagine the camera inside, you will probably see B-roll again. One handle in a normal finish, one handle with fuzzy skin, which actually turned out really nice. But it's not done with the side handles. Of course I needed to add a feature. And that's my friends why I came up with this integrated Allen key, which has an embedded magnet again and just snaps in place. This is really satisfying. This is really, really, really satisfying. This is amazing! And of course you shouldn't print an Allen key with PLA or you shouldn't print an Allen key in general, I guess, and you should always have your normal metal Allen key with you, which you can also put in here. However, if you forgot your Allen key, you are covered. I thought it's a nice add-on. Especially because you will cover two different screw heads with this. It's the 4mm Allen key and the 5mm Allen key for different small rig screws, which will also be in this box this box. 
Enough small rig, let's talk about SD card cases. There are plenty of SD card holders you can print, but there was one particular which caught my eye. This futuristic design and eye-catching high-tech SD card toaster. It has been designed to specifically... I'm sorry, that was a bad joke and no, I couldn't justify printing that thing. But for everyone who was curious, yes, there are printable SD card toasters. That's what the world was missing, guys. Anyways, the SD card holder which caught my eye was this massive thing which looked super convenient, but then I realized I don't even have that many SD cards so I don't need that unit of a case. So I found this tiny toolbox, this cute looking tiny toolbox which can store more than enough SD cards. I printed this particular model with my honeycomb build plate and I do think it turned out quite well. There's just this one flaw with this box. Opening is absolutely fine. It can store up to five SD cards and 12 micro SD cards. I think that's more than enough. But closing is kind of annoying. It's just, it's just not a one-handed operation. These hinges on the back, they are just, it's just a stupid design. I mean, it's a great design. It looks nice, but it's not super functional. However, I went back to my drawing board, opened Fusion 360, put this case inside, and everything I did is I put these hinges over here and fixed them, added some layers so it's just stable. And this, my friends, is a one-handed operation. I kind of messed up by like 0.4 millimeters or so, but it's fine. However, the design of this SD card holder I do think is absolutely amazing. It looks super cool. Why are you guys doing that to me? Why do I need to fix your models? Anyways, I'm happy to fix the models, especially when it's an easy fix like that. However, I do think it's a great looking design. It's not perfect, especially when you turn it upside down, but because of the look, I decided for that one. But if you don't like this design, there are so many SD card holders in the internet for free to download and print. I will link all of these down below in the description just underneath the like button. The biggest print in this video might not look big, might look big now at least bigger. This creation by Heavy is called a lift pod. It's a mix between a lift and I have no idea where the pod comes from. How you can see, you can move it in multiple directions. I assume if you screw it on the plate, you can even rotate it. It comes with different attachments like clamps and phone holders, GoPro mounts and more. And let me tell you guys, building this thing together with all these screws kind of reminded me a little bit of Lego. It took me some time, but with the assembly video, it wasn't too bad. So I tried it, I was super excited, and how do I say it? After like two minutes, I broke it. But the thing I broke was a PLA screw. So what do you really expect from a PLA screw? So I broke the screw, printed a new one, and printed a second one, just in case I will break this one again. So the theory is quite nice and there has gone a lot of thought process in this thing. Really, it's really well thought through. But I have trouble trusting it my heavy ass camera. I mean, I used this base plate on that camera to fix it on this lift pod to get some B-roll shots. And it was actually quite helpful to show you how I messed up the gluing part of this handle. But I couldn't really trust this PLA thing and my camera on top of it. However, I do think this lift pod has its place and I am quite amazed about it, just being able to print it. However, I would probably just put on my little GoPro or maybe my phone if you don't have a Max Plus Ultra super heavy phone. But slamming on your $500, $1000 or even more expensive camera on this thing, I think you are better off buying a real tripod with metal screws. Because at some point, physics just 
does its thing. I just don't think it's worth it risking your camera with that thing. However, I want to print this Robo arms though. They look super cool. Maybe in another video. The next print is a really small print, but if you often find yourself in the position of triggering the zoom worker and then getting an error on your screen so you can't operate the camera until you press the button again, you get the point. Then this little wiener might be your best friend. You literally just press it around the zoom worker so you can't activate it anymore, which in my case with a fixed lens I don't want to activate anyways, but that stops you from accidentally pressing it and getting these error messages and this is a lifesaver. Not really a lifesaver, but it is nice to have. I printed this in PETG. I had it in PLA before and PETG worked a lot better. The last 3D print I want to show you today is a print I don't even want to show you because I showed it to you in different videos already. However, it's so useful and so great. I use it so often that I just need to show it to you. My tripod is way too weak for that alpha male of camera attachments. It's kind of this adjustable lens holder which distributes the weight of the lens. And the combination between PLA and PETG seems to work the best, at least for me. Anyways, if you have any 3D printed camera accessories you feel like sharing, let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious about that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you could learn something today. No flies have been harmed making this video or maybe just one. If you are still here, feel free to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.